down. This is Craig Anderson. This is part three of the VTI Twin Tech Electronic Ignition Upgrade video. Since the last video, since number two, <clears throat> I wired up the coil. The black and white wire goes to the uh, hot coil, hot end of the coil, the same uh, part of the coil that the ignition switch goes to. So there's a hot wire going to the, that's where the power comes from, that goes down to the new ignition. The pink wire goes back up to the bottom of the coil, <coughs> and the, co and the uh, distributor grounds the whole system. I took out the spark plugs, Whoops. I took out the spark plugs and the uh, <clears throat> flywheel plug. I turned the motor over to top dead center and checked out the <clears throat> top dead center mark in here, which is just a dot. About maybe a, a little under a quarter of an inch across and then I turned the motor over again holding my thumb over the number one spark plug until I could feel the compression and then I slowly turned it over until I could find the slot for the 35 degree uh, mark on the flywheel or the crankshaft Then I went around and read the instructions on how to do static timing. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to read that on here. Anyway, uh, and I found that my distributor center shaft, the one that the cam fits on, was not in the proper position for the VTI. That meant I had to unbolt it. There are two bolts at the base, one in front and one in back. In order to get at the back one, I had to take the uh, generator out. And then I pulled the distributor out of its gear, it's dr gear driven at the bottom, and turned the cam in a counterclockwise fashion, a couple of teeth, and dropped it back into place. And that, gave, and that allowed me to line up my uh, new cam and the pickup here on the VTI. So I think, I'm not sure, but I think that means that the last guy that worked on this bike installed the distributor wrong. And they were fighting with that. That's one reason why this bike never really ran. And uh, about this bike, it didn't look like this when I bought it, but the motor and the transmission and the oil bag were the same. They're all the same. I put on the front end, the front wheel, the tank, the back fender, the exhaust system, blah, blah, blah. So all the way down the rebuild of this bike, I found issues that were created by the former owner. And we're still finding those. The one I found today was I turned on the gas in order to fire this thing up, and the gas filter leaks like a sieve so I turned it off. I didn't try to start it. Maybe tomorrow. Anyway, uh, I wanted to point out that the instructions for this are wrong. The ones that the instructions that I got off the internet and the instructions I got from the packaging tell me that this cam 
goes in a counterclockwise rotation. Now I'll read it to you. While holding the trigger rotor in the advanced position, counterclockwise, <coughs> rotate the VTI back and forth until the red light LED illuminates. Okay, so that was really confusing me because mine goes in a clockwise uh, direction. It's retarded in the counterclockwise position and when the <clears throat> when the uh, when you kick it over it rotates in a clockwise manner and when you push on the advance it also goes in a clockwise manner. So what that means is when you rev it up this pickup is going to move it forward and pick up the signal sooner. That's what advance means. <coughs> so uh, the directions are wrong and I believe I know why. I think that the cone engine distributor which is down here on the side I think that probably is geared and runs backwards. Now uh, I have seen a reference to this on the internet and I don't know myself if that's true. I can tell you that I run Pontiac engines in my hot rods and they run backwards from a Chevrolet. The gear on the distributor on a Pontiac is on the opposite side of the camshaft. So it runs counterclockwise, or I don't know, I don't remember if it's counterclockwise or clockwise, but at any rate, it's different than the Chevrolet. So, I think there are two different modes here, and both of them use this pickup, but the weights that are in this distributor turn it in a clockwise position, and the ones in the cone engine I believe turn them in a counterclockwise position. So don't you know? Don't let the instructions completely fool you. <clears throat> Another thing that can happen is that the weights from the other engine fit into this distributor. So I've heard of this type of distributor with the counterclockwise weights in it, which is a mistake. It can't possibly work. So you can time it to start, but you, but then it won't rev up. Uh, so that's it for today. Maybe tomorrow I'll have some more.